what's up and good morning to everybody i know you guys have been missing my videos today is january 30th guys um you know if you guys could see maybe hear a, a change in my voice yeah guys i was really sick um i don't know what the hell's going on dude there's like a virus going around i had like a respiratory virus um lungs were all messed up if you guys could hear my voice i still have that like raspy sc scrapey voice it sounds weird um, it doesn't sound like me sometimes. And sometimes I'm on the phone. They're like, hey, who's this? I'm like, oh, it's me, Junior. They're like, hey, bro, it doesn't sound like you. I'm like, yeah, because I was sick, bro. And uh, my voice hasn't really came back yet. Also, um, how can I tell you guys? Um, protect your loved ones, guys. I don't know what type of virus this is. <sighs> but, um, yeah, man, it, it got me. It got me good. Um, and it's crazy because the first couple of days that I started working at the specific company where I'm working at, um, I ended up getting sick guys i ended up getting sick and i was like what the hell what is this so um yeah it's it's scary it's really scary like you're like what the hell but um yeah i think i'm on the last of it guys i do have like a lot of nasty uh mucus flare-ups i have that um sometimes i get a cough um i i tend to get this nasty headache at times like what the hell but um yeah it's, I, it's been like two three weeks already I haven't had an, uh, even a haircut, you guys could tell. My hair is kind of long. Today, I'm gonna go get a haircut due to the fact that I am gonna go to Disney, Disney Sweethearts. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with my wife, basically. We're gonna go to Disney Sweethearts. Um, we're gonna go check that out. It's gonna be our first time ever going to Disneyland without our kids, so kind of nervous, kind of excited. Um, we are gonna end up getting on all the rides, um, which is pretty cool, you know? So, um, hey. We gotta make memories, guys. We gotta we gotta make memories. But um, enough of that, guys. Enough of my life. Enough of this. Enough of that. Also, I want to give a big shout out to MJ Design Creations. I think it's called. If you guys are interested in getting some of these cups custom made, look at this badass cup. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but look. Bad cup. Look at. You could put any logo, any design. Shipping is available. As you guys could tell, you guys could put coffee, you guys could put cold drinks, hot drinks, um, snacks, whatever you guys are trying to do. So yeah, so it's pretty cool. I have some orange juice in here. I am gonna stop drinking coffee, guys. Um, I, I do think I do have um, kidney stones or gall stones. I don't know, man, but every time I eat something greasy, or eat something like with a lot of spice or like like chile like you know like just hot stuff guys for some reason like my rib cage tends to hurt so i'm like what the hell but guys um yeah i have been working for a specific company um if you guys probably follow me on instagram you guys probably know what company i'm talking about and this is like my third week working here um i love it the pay is good pay is actually excellent um i love the schedule 5 30 to 2 easy um i get to go home pick up my kids see my kids open with their homework still do my cleaning with the jumpers um also my wife she plays a big role in this um while i'm right here right now she's cleaning like the little units like the little 11 by 11 the little 13 by 13 just castle jumpers yeah once i get home i help her like roll them up uh I tend to clean like the bigger units. You could say like the like the monster truck jumper that I have, the marble playhouse, um, the backyard combo, um, like stuff like that. Like you know, bigger units with slides because it's kind of a hassle for her. But guys, um, what else can I tell you guys? Uh, yeah, I've gotten a question and I want to answer right now. Um, that I'm on my break right now actually. Um, the question was I think it was like this: Why do some vendors well, why do some brand new party rental companies get out the industry within like the first six months? And um, I'm gonna tell you guys 100% why. Number one, they think it's easy, guys. Joining the party rental industry um, is not easy. I'll tell you guys that is not easy, especially if you guys have kids. Um, a lot of you guys could maybe vouch for me and you know back me up on this. Um, if you have a family, if you have kids, if you um, you know if you're always busy if you're like a family man if you like doing stuff on the weekends um, maybe the party rental industry is not going to be for you why 
um, it does take a lot of your time. Um, don't just think that you're gonna buy the jumpers and start making money. It doesn't work that way, guys. Um, I guess the way you make your money is an advertisement, is word of mouth, is um, selling yourself, basically. You're selling yourself to the customer. You're selling yourself to um, people that you may not know. Like, you have to bring in that customer service, that on-time delivery, clean jumpers. You know, you got to bring all that. It's not just, I'm going to post it and see who hits me up. And like, nah, you got to go look for the money. The money's not going to come looking for you, you know? Um, as I always tell every vendor, start with a few jumpers. Some people be like, oh, I have 10000 I'm going to invest all my 10000 Don't do that, man. Buy just like... What I always recommend, see, right now I'm getting a damn headache again, man. I feel dizzy. <sighs> but yeah, like I'm telling you guys, um, buy like a little 11 by 11, a little 13 by 13. Um, don't buy nothing big. If you guys are gonna buy water slides, buy the water slides that are like uh, 13 feet tall, single lanes. Those are the easiest water slides you guys could start with, and you guys could actually, uh, you know, maneuver, like move around by yourself without having like the help, you know. But um, yeah, guys, like I'm telling you guys, it's it's not an easy task. Most people think, <laughs> most people think that like, oh, because uh, I'm in the industry, people are gonna start like hooking me up. Trust me, it takes a lot for other vendors to reach out to you and send you guys work. They have to see that you're actually moving, that you're actually on time. They're like seeing, seeing your reviews. Don't think that other vendors are gonna be your friends really quick because it doesn't work that way. I've had vendors that never reached out to me um until barely they're like hey what's up Julian? i'm like and i'm looking at their damn uh, following like 200k followers 300k followers 150k followers 100k followers you're like what the hell who's this like oh i've been watching you for a while and i like the way you work we should collab this and that i'm like oh, all right cool he, they're like oh i'm kind of far out but i know you're in la and people are looking for jumpers that you have i'm gonna send them your way this and that so it works you know they just want to see how you are they want to see your product. They want to see the way you represent yourself, basically. You, you understand me? Um, don't just think because you're entering the party rental game, you're going to be like, Junior, what do I do, Junior? Um, I already got my jumper, so what's next? Well, what's next is you have to advertise. You have to make a logo. Don't advertise from your personal page, guys. People try to tend to, oh, I'm going to start a party rental business on my personal page. I'm not going to do no... Um, no logo i'm not gonna do no no special page for it i'm gonna just shout out from my own page and then after just get booking like that trust me that that scares customers away sometimes that you're posting stuff about your personal life um posting stuff that you're out there smoking weed with your friends and this and that and then you're still posting that you're trying to be like a businessman you know that scares customers away so it's like hey do what you gotta do but then after i could tell you everything what to do but if you're not gonna listen to me if you're just gonna go and just do whatever you want What's the point, you know? People go ahead and call me up that they want advice, that they want to know this, that they want to know that. And after, I'm looking at their at their Instagram stories, it's like the total opposite of what the hell. I told them, like, what the hell? And they're like, bro, I haven't gotten any, any bookings. I see that, that you're always booked. I'm not always booked, guys. Um, I have like seven, eight units right now in stock. Out of the eight units, um, one of them is a, is a double lane water slide. That one has been in storage. I haven't even took that one out since november you could say um and the remaining is like one weekend i could rent almost everything another weekend i could only rent two another weekend i, I could only rent one on certain weekends i could only rent four so it just depends guys don't think because you have all these units you're gonna rent them out nah man it doesn't work that way um how can i tell you guys but like i'm telling you guys the more you the, the more you guys advertise the more you guys go ahead and put posts and um start shouting yourself out having family members shout you out that's basically calling more customers in don't think that just because you're just in the party rental game customers are going to come to you it doesn't work that way um also what can i say the way you present yourself basically to a customer you could say um don't go all dirty you know rip thing rip shorts messed up shoes yeah, I understand. You're in the party rental game. You're in it to get dirty, down and dirty. But damn, sometimes you come up with like a ketchup stain. You come with, you know, drinking a half-ass drink. And oh my God, trust me, I've seen it all. Sometimes I have, I, I run into vendors and they're just, I'll be like, what the hell? Like, bro, what's going on? Like, no, no, I'm just working. I'm just working. Like, dude, is there a reason why you have mud on your head? Is there a reason why you're just, you know? 
but it is what it is, you know. I'm not here to judge anybody, you know. Everybody, though, like, like I always say, everybody does it whatever they want, whatever time they want. I don't, I don't care. But um, yeah, I think that's a that's one of the biggest reasons why people quit within the first six months is because they don't know how to advertise, they don't know how to present themselves, and um, they just think it's easy. Um, sometimes you guys could follow certain. I know a lot of you guys follow me on my IG. And you guys see the way I work. You guys see the way I am. You guys see the way how I always post stuff up. And um, you guys try to do it también, which is not... I'm not even bashing you guys. I'm I'm happy for you guys. You know, um, I try to give you guys the best advice as I can. No other vendor out there will tell you guys what I'm telling you guys. And that's 100% facts. Um, trust me, I've known a lot of vendors. I've talked to a lot of vendors. And they're always saying, ah, oh, fuck them. Let them learn the hard way. Nah, 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 nah. I let them talk, let them yap, let them do whatever the hell they want. But um, deep down inside, I'm like, nah, I know what it feels to fail. I know what it feels to not have nobody help you guys, man. Trust me, I, I know how it feels. So I don't want you guys feeling that way. Like, damn, this fool, he said he was going to keep helping us. And now that he got a little bit of fame, he doesn't want to help. Man, I'm humble, guys. Trust me. You guys send me up. You guys call me up. I don't give a damn. You guys are in Florida, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Arkansas, wherever. If I could help you guys with some type of advice, call me up, man. My phone number is all over IG. My phone, my phone number is all over IG. You guys go ahead and call me. Hey, Junior, how do you do this? Junior, how do you do that? I'll walk you guys through. You know, I don't care. Um, but there's some vendors out there that, that hate what I'm doing. Hate that I'm showing you guys all the ropes. Hate that I'm telling you guys where to go buy this, where to go buy that. They hate it, guys. But uh, hey, it is what it is, you know. I you can't make everybody happy. Basically, um, I just want you to see you guys. Basically, why I created this channel was to help other people who are struggling, who have money aside, who hate working for somebody else, who want to start somewhere. This is why I created this channel to help you guys, man. Uh, not a lot of people do it, like I'm telling you guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, my break is almost up i'm gonna go ahead and eat a sandwich that i have in here and um yeah if you guys have any questions hit me up um pray for me guys um you know you guys could tell i'm not i'm not 100 percent. even with my energies like eh, it's like I'm, i feel trained even though today i'm gonna go to disney so i'm gonna try to make the best out of it you know um i don't know what to say to be honest i look all tired because i do look check it out i'm here from i wake up at four I shower, gotta get ready, turn on my car. By the time I'm up showering, my wife's inside cooking my, or making my sandwiches, breakfast, whatever the hell it is, my coffee. But like I'm telling you guys, I'm, stop, I'm gonna stop drinking coffee. That's why I brought orange juice inside this cup. Um, but if you guys are interested in this type of cup, I'm gonna leave her link down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and tell her that Junior sent you guys. And um, I'm sure she'll give you guys a, a pretty cool deal, you know? But it's pretty cool. This, These are like, look, she even put Junior right here. It's pretty bad, but um, yeah, like I'm telling you guys, um, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. It's like, eh, and now at work, everybody's getting sick, and um, even at work, they're like, hey, bro, why you look so tired? I'm like, shit, I don't know. Maybe my Monday through Friday, since I haven't been working a real job, I think it's catching up to me. <sighs> but who knows? And I was, and I was gonna keep going to the gym. I was gonna keep going to the gym, guys. I swear, but I'm like, hell, and I'm not gonna go to the gym. Imagine I get up at four, have to shower, brush my teeth, um, well fix my hair. I don't even do much crap to my hair. Basically, I just dry it out. Um, putting on my shoes, getting my clothes, while my girls making me breakfast like at four, four thirty, five o'clock in in the morning. So by five fifteen, I have to be gone. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing that, and then after I still have to come home, and you're like, damn, I still have to clean some units from the weekend, or some tables, some chairs. Um, even though my wife sometimes does most of it, I'm still out there, like, you know, trying to trying to help her out because it's cabron, guys, it's cabron. But the more income, the better. But sometimes I feel like sometimes you really do need your breaks. You're like, fuck. You know, you really do need your breaks. My, my eyes look tired. Like, I look tired. I don't even look like me right now. I swear I'm sleepy. I just want to just knock out, man. But today, I think that Disneyland thing starts like at 6 to like 2 or 1 in the morning. So I'm for sure gonna be lit off a monster or something because you can tell by my eyes I'm tired, guys. Yeah. But also right now when I when I get off work, I get off at two. I have a haircut appointment at, at three thirty. 
then I have to go to my boy Stitch Creator to go pick up my custom made um, hoodies that, that we made. Well, not hoodies, we made crew necks. Uh, we made some crew necks, and uh, yeah, 951. Damn, my brakes are about to be over too. Uh, but guys, hope you guys get entertained with these videos. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Follow me on my IG, and also remember to follow MJ Creations to get your cups. I'm telling you guys, you guys could put any type of logo, anything that you guys want on, on your cups. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later on. Peace.